Hey, what's up guys, Second Kirby Abby here, back again with another mod in Minecraft tutorial. Oh yeah, so today's topic, the industrial apiary from Gendistry. This is a powered apiary that is from the Gendistry mod, obviously. Everything in the Gendistry mod requires RF energy, so for testing purposes, let's get a creative energy cell. Right. So now that this thing has power, <clears throat> once you put a queen in, or a princess and a drone, they will breed together and start producing things and stuff. Let's put the, no, let's put the energy cell right there. So for example, let's get a Meadows Queen. Let's throw her in. As you can see, uh, as you can see, the uh, the defaults, uh, as you can see, the defaults um, biome, uh, the defaults um, biome is plains uh, right now because I'm in a, because I'm in a meadows biome. The default biome is um, dependent on what biome you're in. Okay, is this thing producing? It should be. Yeah, it should be. All right, so um, the industrial library is unique in that it can it can accept upgrades. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like the uh, aviary from forestry, but um, uh, but a lot more uh, a lot more like um, uh, compact. I mean, the only thing it costs is energy, and if you have if you have solar panels, then um, the energy should be no problem. All right, so if we uh, take a look at the recipe for the industrial apiary, you can see that it requires two bronze gears, a piston, four nah, four glasses of any kind, a sturdy casing, and a bee receptacle. Bronze gears are uh, are made from four bronze ingots and a stone gear or a basic gear, or they are made from four bronze ingots and one iron. This is the bronze gear from Thermal Foundation. They changed it from Tinker's Outlet, which is weird. Oh well. All right, the sturdy casing is made with uh, eight bronze ingots in a chest shape, and B receptacle is made with five bronze, one glass pane. Two redstone and a weighted pressure plate. Light, um, basically the gold pressure plate. All right. So, and once again, the industrial library can accept upgrades. Um, let's uh, let's take a look at some of the upgrades. So, the upgrades that it can receive: flames emulation, which uh, which causes the biome it's in to be over overridden uh, overridden with planes. Light upgrade, which gives internal lighting, just in case your bee isn't nocturnal. Flowering upgrade, which uh, increase, which increases the uh, flowering and pollination range. Um, that um, you can install up to eight of those at a time. Winter emulation, uh, winter emulation upgrade uh, causes the biome to become taiga. A drier upgrade um, causes the humidity to drop. The automation upgrade allows you to automate your bees, um, basically uh, just by um, just by putting the upgrade in. Once the once the bee dies off, um, once the bee dies off, uh, a princess and a drone will automatically go into the uh, automatically go into the breeding spots, and then you'll be, then you'll be good. Hell emulation upgrade causes the uh, biome override to uh, turn into the nether. Humidifier uh, causes the humidity to increase. Desert emulation turns the biome into a desert. Cool upgrade drops the temperature. Lifespan upgrade uh, decreases the lifespan. A seal upgrade um, offers rain protection for the bee, just in case your bee um, isn't a tolerant flyer. Genetic stabilizer um, decreases the genetic decay. A ju uh, jungle emulation causes the biome to become jungle. A territory upgrade increases the territory at which your bee it, occupies. Ocean emulation turns it into an ocean. Open sky um, causes a, causes it and it causes the bee to believe there's an open sky above it. Heater upgrade um, warms the warms the apiary up. A, a sieve upgrade um, collects pollen. A production upgrade increases uh, increases production, and um, this is just an upgrade for used to make the other upgrades. Let's see, uh, tin, redstone, and gold. All right, guys. I think that's enough um, on the industrial apiary for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, be sure to let me know if you want to see more industry tutorials. This uh, this mod is very useful if you like doing bees but hate doing the uh, but hate doing the breeding because there is a mutatron that I am dying to uh, I'm dying to do a tutorial on. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Later.